Hello ladies and gentlemen, so today this is the event section of these three videos I have made. Now this is the uh, this is the longest video because I have a lot to go over. So basically this will be the uh, event section and I will be going over exactly how to increase the speed by over 20 megabytes of RAM, which I actually uh, which I can say by experience because my iPod runs about two times faster its boot time is roughly six seconds its um its RAM has been increased to about 20 more megabytes so really I uh, this really is working very well and also take into mind that um, I have made it so that my apps will never crash and I will be going over that later so basically to um, simplify everything first I like to tell you exactly what daemons are and exactly how they affect your iPod so daemons basically what what they are are pretty much backup applications and back backup uh, extra mem uh, extra memories that run in the background that re you really don't need they're just processes that happen on effect of turning your iPad uh, iPod or iPad or iPhone on now to delete these uh, the, to delete these useless backgrounds, uh, backgrounding processes, you have to go into iFile and delete them manually, or you can go to a um, certain application in Cydia. However, I recommend you go in and delete it manually because some of these daemons are very important. Like some of them re um, are required for your iPod to function, such as pl um, playing your music, uh, dealing with the touch screen, and uh, actually turning your application on, uh, iPod on and off. So basically what you have to do is listen to these instructions very carefully so that you will in turn not delete something that is very important but delete something that is very useless. So basically first off what you have to do is delete uh, download iFile from Cydia. So uh, no, considering that this is an advanced video all you ha uh, I'll just be telling you how to get it. So basically, you go to Edit, Add, Insidia, and then you type in www.simpleiphonerepo.com. It'll be in the description below. So after that, you download iFile Cracked. iFile should load. Now, when you first start off, if you've never used iFile, um, just to roughly get where you are, to uh, exactly know where you are, you want to press this Home button. Now from here, you press var then the slash and now to delete the daemons you go into system oh sorry you go into syst oh shit sorry guys uh, you go into system library scroll down until you hit the launch daemons and here are all the daemons you have to delete uh, here are all the daemons that launch right when you turn on your iPod. Now some of these are um, absolutely safe daemons or if you delete them nothing nothing will happen. Some of them are conditional daemons which means that if you delete it something will be disabled such as I deleted the searched PL, uh, PL list which is the spotlight search. So since I deleted that my spotlight search won't work but it'll make my iPod faster. Some are unknown daemons which um, I do not mess with because they um, they are still unknown, and some are not de device specific daemons, which exactly are um, daemons in which you um, daemons which are specific to your i to your generation iPod, iPhone, and iPad, and then there are the leave alone daemons, which in turn means you don't touch those daemons, you don't delete them, you don't edit them in any way, shape, or form. So basically, it is hard to demonstrate to how to delete a daemon because I in turn actually deleted all my daemons already. So I will just show you a quick video um, right here um, exactly which daemons you should just delete. So um, for the most part, this does go in alphabetical order. If it does not, then uh, I am sorry for that, but you guys should be able to see it. So all right, so here we go. So, the first one is add. All right, so address book. Then you delete admin list. Then AOS notification. Then that one. Then that one. Then that one.
then Chum Chum, then Chum Pilot Fish Com Center. Then you want to delete um keep going dump panic that one accessed uh, keep in mind that I will be giving you all the damage you have to delete in the description below and this video will be playing um, at the end of this video to show you exactly um, which ones to do alright so this part I will be going over later that is an actual edit thing you have to do but um, yeah so this part don't uh, just ignore this part I will be going over that personally alright so more damage to delete Um, sorry for the lag. Alright guys, I think that is about it. So basically, those were the damage you had to delete. Sorry that was fast. I will be posting all the damage you can delete in the description below along with the conditional damage which um, you don't have to delete but are recommended and if you don't use those certain notification streaming things and then I will I'll just post all the daemons that are unknown uh, device specific leave alone daemons and every every daemon so now after you deleted the daemons um, there's also another thing you can do to actually increase the speed now this thing requires you to have a very very high knowledge of these uh, PL lists and um, um, I'll just be going over one of the things that you can do so this is very risky make in, take into account that I take no responsibility for your iPod iPhone or iPad and if it does really does not work make sure uh, first off before I move on I want you guys to make sure that you guys actually backed up your ac actual um, uh, actual files onto a computer or something because I'm implying that you guys already know how to do that because this is an advanced video along with that I want you guys to actually um, take into account that if it does not work you guys have to restore this iPod or iPhone or iPad anyway so here we go so now you take a look at this one iTunes stored you tap that text viewer now okay so here is the uh, hard part so you go to edit now make sure you touch nothing you edit nothing except for this part right here alright so it's gonna say successful exit as you can see and under that where the blue tab is it's gonna say false I want you to erase false and put true and touch nothing else and press save right here and once you're saved you exit out of that swipe this Swipe to SP settings, which I showed you how to get in my previous video. Power, reboot, and it should reboot, and you should get exactly what you want. Now, um, in my next videos, I will be showing you exactly how to make it so that your apps will never crash. But this is just the basics of it. Thank you guys for watching. Pope Hackers, peace.